Build walls. Yes, build walls, Lucy. Build walls to stop the massive human trafficking problem uh, that's happening in the border and all over, but especially over the border. Yeah. Call Lewis from Veterans on Patrol. VOP. Ask him. He's seen some things. LOL. What do you mean? What do you mean, Lucy? To stop illegal people of any race, force them to go to ports of entry? I mean, that's kind of what you would do if you had borders. Oh, you're laughing. What are you laughing at? What are you laughing at, Lucy? Are you laughing at the human trafficking? It's not funny. It's not funny. Why would you laugh at such a thing? Where did all those kids go? 10,000 a year. Missing. No, that's just the uh, children that were coming in from Central, Central America. What's up, Babs? Ports of entry are being cracked down, down on, too. Yeah, I think so. Long Beach. Yeah. Wars create migrants. Yeah. Here's the scam, Lucy. The scam is... Uh, let's look at... Let's take it. Let's go to the 90s. Let's look at uh, the Serbia conflict, right? So, Clinton White House, Madeleine Albright start this european bombing of serbia there's a war what does that mean it means refugees what does that mean that means uh hillary's friends over at dyncor come in and they sell the refugee children it's that's that's the scam you start a war or it's like haiti oh there's an earthquake in haiti great news we'll go help them is what they say but then they're selling the kids from haiti that's how it works. They go into disaster areas knowing that they can scoop people up. That's the scam. That's neoliberalism. That's Rothschildism. That's Clinton Foundation. That's Soros, right? That's Bush. Man-made earthquake in Haiti? Yeah, probably. Disasters are gold mines to them. Exactly. Disasters or gold mines. Oh, we're going to send the Red Cross to Haiti. What does that mean, really? Send the Red Cross to Haiti. What does that mean? You know what it means. We are all the same, though. Well, what do you mean by that, Lucy? Do you think... Lucy, do you think everyone should just be able to come into America whenever they want to? Is that what you think? The millions that get donated to Red Cross, they need that money. They don't ever get the money. They never get the money. My ancestors did. Lucy, sorry. Here, let's, let's talk about a little thing called logic, all right? How many millions of people are there south of the border? Let's just go all the way. Let's take all of South America. How many millions? How many millions? We can't sustain. We can't sustain unlimited people, right? We can't sustain unlimited people. And a lot of the people coming in are frankly people that you don't want to have in a civil society, right? Salvadorians, MS-13. Do you want MS-13 in your country? Right? Your grandparents went through the process. Yeah, mine too. Ellis Island. Your grandparents came legally. I think Lucy is trying to say that if you want a border at all, then you're somehow a racist. Which is ridiculous. Porous border means you can sneak all types of stuff in. You could sneak people and sell them. You could sneak a suitcase nuke. You could sneak 
a bunch of Africans with Ebola, and that actually friggin' happened on the southern border. So, Lucy, sorry, you're wrong. You are wrong, Lucy. You have many customers who are foreign and now have green cards or become citizens. Yeah, every other country has borders. Yeah, they do. I can't just turn up in Australia and be like, Hi, uh, so I'm Australian now, and you gotta give me money and a house, and uh, etc, etc. You can't do that. You can't do that. Oh, by the way, some judge got arrested. Uh, I don't know if she was... She was definitely in court. But this judge got arrested, and she, she was helping... She was helping people evade ICE. Illegal immigrants evade ICE. And she's like crying like, Oh! It's like, you're breaking the law, you moron! It's like... <sighs> yeah, let's all go to Lucy's house. Lucy, where's your house? I'm hungry. Lucy, where do you live? We're all gonna go to your house, Lucy. I hope you don't have a wall. I hope you don't have a wall or a door. Doors are racist. Doors are racist. <laughs> Why is it that everyone, all these wealthy people that push for open borders have like houses with, you know, security walls? UK, man. Oh, we got to go to UK? All right, I'm going to go to, guys, let's all go to UK and we're going to be refugees at Lucy's house. You're not wealthy? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, Lucy. We're turning up. We're turning up. If you think that we should take everybody in the world, then you can definitely take all the family Lamborghesas at your house. Guys, we're going to Lucy's house. Where? <laughs> where's your house, Lucy? What part of the UK are you in? Oh yeah, you can't vet anyone. You can't vet anyone. <laughs> uh, party at Lucy's! Where do you live though, Lucy? Where do you live? <laughs> Dollar? Lucy, where do you live, Lucy? We want to visit you. You're pack- everyone's packing! Oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. Where are you, Lucy? We got a lot of people that want to turn up. Mass immigration collapses economies. Yes, thank you, Scottish rule. Mass immigration collapses economies. Oh, you're in the southwest UK? Are you on the coast? Hey, quit turn up your house, Lucy. We turn up. We're, we're just going to bring a few of us. We'll just turn up, play a bit of football <laughs> in Dover. <laughs> yeah, uh, guys, you can't. Here's the other thing about immigration. Uh, here's the other thing about immigration. You can't take people that have two disparate, very disparate cultures. Or even more than that, talk about LA or something like You can't just throw Somalians into Minnesota or else they start throwing children off of the, the top floor in the mall. Right? It's like people that don't share Western values. Look at UK. Look at UK. UK is kind of a bit of a shithole right now. And I know you know I'm right. I know you know I'm right. We got like literal Pakistani rape gangs. Right? And then the police don't do anything. If people complain, they're like, Oi, mate, you being a racist? I'm gonna send the police out. You having bad thoughts, ain't you? You having bad thoughts. We're gonna send the cops out and send the bobbies out to your house. You having bad thoughts about immigrants? <laughs> Meanwhile, they're, the immigrants are like literally raping and killing citizens. And the, the citizens have no recourse. They'd be like, you know what? 
I'm tired of you guys flooding our country and raping our children. They're like, oi mate, is that a hate speech? Are you doing a hate speech? You better watch out. You don't have a license for that hate speech. People like Assange and Tommy Robinson get arrested. Guys, UK is a satanic shithole. It's a satanic shithole. And also, by the way, they've been robbing America blind for a long time. Somali gang's a problem in Australia. They have no respect for your culture. Right. There's African gang problems in Australia. Because maybe if you take Africans and put them in Australia, they're Africans that are in Australia. Right? They have a totally different culture. It's totally different. You hate going to England now. Not safe there. No, it's not safe there. Look. Soros and friends, Hillary, they flooded Europe. They flooded a lot of places. They flooded America. They don't care about, they want, when they're flooding your country with people from other countries and subsidizing those people that are coming in, what does that mean? That means they're saying, yeah, we don't like our native citizens. We don't care about you. We want to get rid of you. Look at opioids, guys. Look at the opioid crisis. Opioid crisis. Over 300,000 people have died since 2000. 300,000 people have died since 2000. Yeah? That's a lot of people. That's like 100 9-11s. 100 9-11s have died just from opioids. Right? So you're like, hey, we'll give our native, our native population, we'll give them opioids, kill them, Bring in Mexicans, pay them half as much, and uh, yeah, we'll get rid of all the people that uh, are, are our citizens. It's guys, it's it's literal genocide. It's literal genocide. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. And all the children of the addicts abandoned. Yeah, guys, this is uh, the opioid crisis. It's a manufactured crisis, and they have the documents to prove it, right? So what does that say? What does that say? Big Pharma, who's, you know, who's making the money? Big Pharma's making money. The Crown is making money. The old Brown Brothers Harriman networks are making money. And when you talk like this, you're called racist. Yeah, well, it's just facts, guys. Australia, I know, I know Australia is pretty mired in the politically correct stuff they just they just don't want you thinking logically it's like no you're bringing even if they were the same look even if they looked exactly the same as you right let's let's put it like this if they if they looked exactly the same as you but had a culture which was not compatible yours right say say they were like oh we have this australian gang problem in uh I don't know, in Virginia Beach, because all these Australian gang people are murdering people. What would we say? We'd be like, guys, we have a problem with the Australians, all right? And it wouldn't be like, oh, you're racist. It's no, it's, we have these people coming in and fucking shit up. They just, they make it about race. They make it about race to insulate themselves from any sort of honest discussion about it. They make it about race. Just like similarly, if uh, if you say, we need to do something about the Rothschilds, people will be like, that's anti-Semitism. It's the same fucking thing. They're like, uh, yeah, we need you to stop talking, so we're just going to use this made-up shit so you can stop talking, right? And shut you down permanently. Nope, stop. It's not racist to want to put the well-being and uh, and livelihood of your own citizens above people from other countries that's not racist that's called uh doing your duty to the people that live in your country right protecting your protecting your people protecting your people yeah they try to make they're like, oh, they're nationalists. They're white nationalists. They're some nationalists. It's like, they want to fool you to believe that caring about your own country makes you a bad person. 
That's the scam. That's the scam, guys. Yes, he has. Yeah, they call him a racist. It's, ugh. It's bothered me for the longest time. I don't know why I take it so personally. I just hate. I hate. I hate when people, uh, don't foment hate. I'm not fomenting hate. And you, you spelt it wrong. There's no R in foment. I'm, I'm fomenting, uh, let's think about stuff like this is our country and what can we do for our citizens, right? We can't go to, right, we can't go to any other country and demand stuff. How is this an issue? How is it an issue? How is it an issue? It's not an issue. Not an issue. Right. We protect our homes. Why do you have a door? Why do you have a door at your house with a lock on it? I know everyone here has a door at their house with a lock on it. Right? Doors are racist, man. The ones who call everyone racist are racist. Yes, they fucking are. They are. Guys, they are. White... This gets said a lot, but I'll say it again. Liberals are the real racists. You see it in how they talk to other people. They talk like... They talk to black people like they think black people are stupid. They do. Like Ocasio or Tez, uh, occasional context, occasional uh, comprehension. The other day, she's like, you heard, you heard her like trying to be like, and Hillary Clinton, you know that old Hillary Clinton speech. Well, I don't understand now. It's typical. It's called pandering, and it's what sociopaths do. It's pandering, just like virtue signaling is pandering, and it's by sociopaths. Because they think they can act a certain way and like people be like, oh, they buy my shit. Guys, do you know how many actors I've been around? A lot of actors are sociopaths. Yeah. A lot of actresses are sociopaths. They just, they say stuff that they think people will want to hear. That they think will make them look good. They don't care. They don't care. And that's basically all of their race stuff. All of their like gender stuff they don't care they're just trying to look it's virtue signaling there's no fucking substance to it if these people cared about stuff they'd actually be doing stuff to help a lot of women are sociopaths yes that's true so big it happens a lot of men are a lot of women are it's something that happens it's something that happens but all these people that talk about oh I'm gonna go to this women's march. These people aren't doing anything. They're doing nothing. Imagine if all the women that were in the women's march were like, hey, let's volunteer for a day and do, I don't know, something. Anything, right? Talking thousands and thousands of people volunteering. Do you think you could actually get good stuff done if they wanted to like do something instead of just complain about it because it's like the fashionable thing to do? Right? I mean, yeah, it's maybe cool to like go out and like hang out with people for a cause that you agree with, but at the end of the day, if you're like, orange man, bad, what are you doing? You're not doing anything. You're just getting triggered by the media, really. A lot of women say they're not feminist, but it's virtue signaling. That also is true. Yes, with their pussy hats on. Guys, we have. We have grown women wearing hats that look like vaginas, trying to tell us that uh, the president is mentally unfit for office. It's pretty ironic, don't you think? <laughs> oh, boy. Man, seriously, think about it. Orange man bad. My vagina hat. He's a disgrace. Guys, you can look. Go on Google and look up some of these people at these marches. 
Some of them have full-on vagina costumes. Full-on vagina costumes. And they're saying, this president is unfit. He's mentally ill. It's embarrassing. Yeah, it is embarrassing for them.